What's going on, everybody? We are offshore. We're gonna drop in, see if we can shoot something. And then we're hoping we can go hit some spots a little deeper that might have some lobsters on them. Wow, it really drops off. Look at a show too. Woo, drop the marker on that. Maybe not. We'll see. Sheet of glass, which means it's gonna be 142 degrees out here today. It is hot. Aiden said there's big blacks. Aiden and I are dropping down in on this spot. Our goal is to try and get a AJ. And uh, on the way down, I see these guys here. Rainbow runners, some big ones. Always wanted to shoot one of them. But they were a little too quick. Can see off in the distance there is a solo permit not a super big one but here you're allowed one over slot piece of debris here this whole area is debris and then they drop the wreck right on top of it So a shark buzz us back on with the power head. So you can see there's a bunch of culverts and different concrete and debris. And then they drop some kind of barge or something right on top. Now Mike and Aiden's dad, Kent, already came down and checked the whole bottom for any big grouper and uh, no luck there. So we're gonna go up into the water column, get away from all the uh, Goliath grouper everywhere. So we got a sh shark in the area, a bunch of big Goliath groupers. It's always a little risky when you start shooting fish with all them big boys around. Look at, there's culverts right down inside this ship. So obviously a man-made reef. Very cool though. You can see the visibility isn't all that great, but Aiden spots some good size amberjack. And then we see these two beasts. Pulling the power head off, hoping to get a shot at them. Those are some mature AP, two big African pompano. They didn't want to play. Look at the size of this skate. Massive. I think he was five feet from wingtip to wingtip. Another school of AP, a little smaller, a little younger. see a school of some bigger amberjack so throwing the power head on because I don't want to get dragged around by an AJ look at the size of these kudas 
beautiful. About out of air, so went down on a partial tank. And I'm yelling at a big old Goliath because he started swimming right up to me. So I grab this guy, pull him in tight. I'm holding him close to me so the sharks don't come frenzying. And uh, there goes Aiden after a bigger one. And I'm not sure if he had a power head on. I thought he did. I can't remember, but it looks like the power head didn't go off. So this guy comes back to life, and of course his spear didn't go all the way through, and boom, he takes off. Bummer. But watch this. Massive school. Aiden's reloading. Look at the permit. That is epic. I was so happy for him. Put a perfect shot on him. Getting taken for a ride. Does a great job not horsing him too much, but bringing him in nice and easy. job Aiden fish all right so this is Kent and I Aiden's father and uh, we're going down looking for lobsters look at this little shark I'm trying to grab him by the tail I apologize that camera view was not so great my cameras were out of whack all day. I had a lot more footage that just didn't come out, so. Oh, there he goes. He's trying to show them to you guys, but look at the size of this lobster. You guys may think I'm pointing my gun right at him. I am not. It is the angle of the camera. Funky angle on the camera. Gets in there, gets a hold of it. Boom. The best part about that lobster is that is the first lobster that Kent has caught in the Gulf. And uh, there's Aiden holding it. Lob city, baby. 22 pounds. Cheers, brother. Uh, nice. Get one like this. There you go. She didn't get him in the fillets. Nope. Look at that meat, man. Couple little slippers. Welcome to the kitchen, everybody. I've got a piece of permit, skin on, and then a nice chunk of AJ. And then these two little slipper lobsters. like that the season these bad boys with some Lowry's garlic salt and black pepper plain and simple so we're gonna just melt down a little bit of butter and we're gonna throw a bunch of garlic in there so we're just gonna put a little bit of butter on these bad boys like this and we're gonna start those sides down Love the smell of charcoal. Hopefully that keeps it from sticking. These I'm gonna kind of set on the outside. 
I'm going to start them meat down. Just like that. Now, throw the lid on. Choke it down just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to turn these guys over. As you can see, I don't have the fire roaring or anything. But now, it's going to come alive. All that butter burning. Okay, nice little char going here. Oh yeah. Skin down. There we go. Let's get them basting. Got to make sure we get the sides. See that meat falling apart? Look at that splitting. All right, I'm going to let it char for 30, 40 more seconds. And then I'm going to shut it down with the lid and let it cook these thick pieces here. Boy, does that smell like a million bucks. lid on suffocated a little bit a few more minutes that's your AJ that looks awesome skin stayed on and that's your permit hold on burnt I don't care this is the best part of the fish all right I can't take it anymore I know it's charred and ugly and do you want to try it no why what? babe you always do this you are like the biggest Food chicken I've ever met. I'm really not. You, no, I'm she not. really Ellie's, is. Ellie she is won't eat so no nice. guts from a lobster. <laughs> won't eat the eggs from a lobster. You've got to. What? Say it. Mm -mm. No. All right. It's like a big fish chip best part they don't even have scales I mean they do but they don't and that is phenomenal well, I just wanted to make sure that you mm -hmm. got to have what you like oh yeah that's so, why yeah I, mean. I, I didn't want to take any whatever okay <laughs> let's get you a uh, chunk I yeah I kind of <laughs> figured you're okay with this what's cool about these Lobsters is there's no size limit for this kind of garlic butter. Yes, I like the garlic. We're gonna scoop some of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I'm going oh, in. It's so good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I thought you dropped the lobster. No, I didn't drop the lobster. <laughs> like, if I did, we got that covered. Oh, yeah. So good. That doing them on the grill, that charcoal, that's over the top. Yeah. Now, we've had Amberjack before, never had the bigger permit. And you cannot tell the difference hardly at all of the little Pompano and the big permit. They look almost identical color wise and everything. Let's just see. Goodness, that looks good. Sorry about the uh, dryer <laughs> in the background. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna throw a little butter on there too. That charcoal and letting it flame up like that with the butter, that is a whole new realm of taste try this i'm doing butter too yeah
Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So good. I don't even know what to compare that to. I don't know. It's very light. It is. Yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. That's the Amberjack. I really, I really can't say that I like this any less or any more than the Permit. Mm. Everything's good with butter. Mm -hmm. But, guys, don't sell yourself short on the Jacks. Amber Jack. It's all in the way you prepare them. Almaco Jack is another good one. I will give the permit a slight edge. I was going to say, the only real difference that I can say is a little bit of the texture. Mm-hmm. Like, this seems to be, I don't know, it's tighter together, not, mm -hmm. just, like, flaky. But they're both super light. No. I know you want to eat that lobster. <laughs> so doesn't Ellie. We'll save her a tail. Mm. Well, I guess that might as well be dinner. <laughs> we'll say our uh, our grace here in a minute. But I guess that's pretty much all we got. I sure do appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I guess until the next one, we are out of here. <laughs>